Oops, I made a mistake. And I wanna share it with all of you guys so you don't make the same mistake. Welcome back to Homestead Corner. I'm Ginny and today I wanted to share a mistake that I made to hopefully so you guys don't make the same mistake. And I have been buying um, dried hash browns for our pantry for quite a while. And I buy them for the intended purpose to store them long term. And I've been buying these Hungry Jack from Dollar Tree. They were only a buck. It's a super good deal. And when I started buying these, I checked to make sure that the ingredients, where are these ingredients? Right here, I'll put a picture up. They're just potatoes, salt, dextrose, and freshness preserved with sodium bisphosphite. So these are perfectly safe to store long term. They will last and last and last. I put these in a jar and I vacuum seal them. Well, I went to Sam's and I found a big, huge box of these dried hash browns. So I thought, oh, I gotta get those. What a good deal. These Idahoan ones, these cannot be stored long term. They're going to go bad. I didn't read it, I didn't bring my glasses, and I can't see the little tiny writing in the store. Because <laughs> the lighting isn't right. If the lighting's just right, I can see. But <laughs> if it's not perfect, then I need my glasses. So I picked these up in the store, I saw them, I was so excited. They were a different brand, but I was like, they gotta be the same thing. I'm gonna grab those. These have sunflower oil in them. And I will put a picture up of the ingredients. It has a lot more ingredients in it. Most of them are safe. But they do have sunflower oil. These have Idaho potatoes. Sunflower oil is the second thing in it. Salt, dextrose, onion powder, monoglycerides. This has like a big ingredient list. So I, when I went to store these, I pulled these because I don't bring stuff home and package it today. I don't have time for that. So I buy stuff and I put it on the shelf and I have a spot for stuff that needs to be stored. And if it needs to go in the freezer, we do the freezer cycle. We do all that and then it goes to the storage area. And then once I have a bunch, I store everything in one day. I do a whole bunch of dried food storage at once. So I don't have to bust the stuff out for one or two jars. And just to save myself time because I'm busy and crazy but <laughs> so I just wanted to share with you these will store long term and these will not because they have sunflower oil that sunflower oil will go rancid over time um, they will last a while they definitely will and if you vacuum seal them they will probably last a little bit longer than they will in the package but I'm not going to bother vacuum sealing these. I'm going to use them right out of the box and just get these used up because the sunflower oil is not going to allow them to last. So I just wanted to share this with all of you because we're all looking for great things to add to our storage. And when I see hash browns, I've checked the ingredients. I know those are good. I automatically thought these were good. <laughs> bring my glasses to the store. I know, I need to. And <laughs> I just wanted to share this so you guys didn't buy a whole bunch of these and try to store them and have them go bad on you. I would hate to see that happen. So that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.